welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Roxanne and on this channel I have all sorts of nail content demos hauls how to's you name it in this video I'll be giving my client a refill and a nice triple ombre set if you're interested then please just keep watching hi my babies I hope you're having an amazing day or night Whatever time may be, whenever you are catching this video. So as you guys can see, we are starting off with a little bit of bragging. You guys, my client's nails lasted over three weeks and I am over the moon. There was absolutely no lifting, no chipping of any product. Hmm, nothing like that. So I'm super excited, you guys. It just means that I'm getting better and I am growing and so yeah y'all but anyway I'm going to take down a little bit of bulk I'm going to be removing some gel polish and I'm going to be removing those stones that you see me removing there I'm using my e-file and my Pana um, bit to do that so I'll hush I'll let you guys watch this part in the process and I'll be back in when it's time for the next step I'll hush you watch Hey there, enjoying my content? Well, if you are and you haven't already, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel? It's free. You can leave me a like and comment down below and let me know what you wanna see next. So my babies, my client wanted to go from square to coffin shaped nails. So I'm using my 8080 grit hand file to just bring in the free edge of those nails just a little bit to create the coffin shape for her. Um, once I have this taken care of, I will go back in with my e-file um, and I'm going to be using my sanding band to bring down um, a little bit more bulk on these nails um, because we now realize that she did not only want a fill, but she wanted to get the triple ombre that she saw on my nails um she actually ended up getting an exact replica to the set that i have um, with the exception of the um, smoky nail um, because she really liked it you guys so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and bring down some bulk on these nails because i will be doing the triple ombre using some poly gel so i'll hush i'll let you guys watch me do that and i'll be back in a little bit later on Seem like every cat ain't gotta maintain the cap. You can make change, don't change for that. Tell the whole truth, get paid for that. Bet you never fall off, you was made for that. You gotta be who you really be, shine from the inside. city with my day one i ain't gotta worry because they a one what in the field and you can't come with us my little shawty going stupid going straight dumb with us, now that i have that taken care of i'm going to go in with my diamond cuticle bit this is a barrel cuticle bit and i'm going to be using this bit to remove the dead skin from the nail plate um, and I'm also going to be helping the eponychium push back just a little bit so I can expose the dead skin that is resting underneath the eponychium area as well. Um, once I have this taken care of you guys, I will be going in with my favorite cuticle bit, which is the ball bit you guys. So I'm taking this ball bit and this is the bit that I use in replacement of scissors or cuticle nippers or anything like that. So I'm using this ball bit and I'm going to remove that dead skin that is laying, laying right on the eponychium. So if you guys see that white, um, that white cast that's over the eponychium area, that is in fact dead skin. So I'm using the ball bit to remove that. And I find that if I do this, I do not necessarily need to use nippers or clippers or anything like that. 
But yeah, you guys, I did go ahead and I dusted, sorry, removed the dust from these nails off camera. Now I'm just going in with my base gel and I'm gonna add this base gel to all of her nails and then allow her to cure for a full 60 seconds before moving in with my first bead of poly gel. Got it, I'ma cover them. And I know that if I need it, they gon' give it back. Gotta practice what you preachin', I be living that. Taking trips around the globe, bringing game back. Touchdown, hood, huh? happy that I came back. Take a so now I'm going in with my first bead of poly gel, you guys. And I don't remember the name of this poly gel, but if you've watched the video that I gave you guys when I did the set that I'm wearing in this video, you will know the name to this poly gel or where it came from and all of that good stuff. But you guys already know you do not have to worry. I will have everything linked down in the description box for you guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm using this gorgeous, gorgeous yellow and I'm just gonna pat and press that poly gel to place. You guys know when I'm working with shorter nails, um, I like to work on more than one nail at one time. So I'll hush, I'll let you guys watch. I'll be back in when it's time for the next color. Vision, yeah, we got the same picture. You won't catch me in the club. I like to meditate. I be higher than a bird. I like to levitate. When I ask them how they doing, it ain't never great. So I be focused on the money, need a better rate. Baby girl eating veggies, doing yoga at the crib. Swimming in the winter, don't get cold where I live. Still the same number. If you got it, you can hit me. Pull up to the park, I'ma match you on a sticky. I ain't trying to be nobody, I ain't gotta be. Honey bands up, shopping at the Dollar Tree. Never been a type that gotta act, gotta lie. I just go and get the bread and bring it back to the tribe. Seem like every captain gotta maintain the cow. So now that that yellow is fully cured, I'm going in with this beautiful blue. I believe this is actually Periwinkle by McCart, you guys. And I'm just gonna add a small bead to each of the nails. Now you guys see me patting and pressing that poly gel into place. And you guys, I do end up taking too much um, poly gel out of the tube. So you guys will see I'm continuously patting and pressing that poly gel into place, trying to get my blend together for my ombre, and then I am swiping off any excess using the tip of my brush. And I'm using the tip of my brush to swipe off excess when it comes to this nail set because it is short, you guys, so I don't need to use anything else but the tip of my brush. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm blending that color down over that yellow, but I'm also making sure that the color, I'm sorry, the poly gel that is on the natural nail plate is nice and flush and it doesn't have a heavy line of demarcation so that when I go in with the top color, um, there wouldn't be a heavy, heavy line there. So I'll hush, I'll let you guys watch this. I'll be back in in two seconds. I'll hush, you watch. So now I'm going in with this gorgeous pink, you guys. This color is also by McCart. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to add this as the top color um, for my ombres. But you guys, I'm kind of cheating with this set too because I am going to be bringing that pink down just a little bit um, onto the yellow, just very, very little. Um, and I'm going to be using it also to create the ombre or to um, finish out the ombre if you will so I'm not going to be going over these nails with clear I'm just using this pink to blend everything together and to marry all of the colors so I'll hush I'll let you guys watch this and I'll be back in when it's time for the next step So here are the nails now that the poly gel has been laid and cured. So of course I removed that tacky layer that poly gel tends to leave behind off camera. Um, now I'm just going in with my 80, 80 grit hand file you guys. And because we are doing um, coffin shape, I am taking that file at a 45 degree angle on the sides of the nail and then at a 90 degree angle at the free edge. Once I have this taken care of you guys, I will be going in with my E file and my five in one Pana bit. And what I am doing here is I'm just gonna take that bit up around the epinicium area just to make sure that that product is nice and flushed with the epinicium. Um, and then of course I will bring it down the nail just to remove any bulk 
that may be on the nail. Once I have this taken care of you guys, I do go in with another bit. I wanted to show you guys this bit that I found on Amazon. So I'll hush, I'll let you guys watch. I'll be back in when it's time to switch bits. So my babies, this is the drill bit that I was telling you guys about. You guys, this is the fine shank size carbide cuticle bit by Pana. And I'm gonna try to find a picture of it on Amazon so I can put it somewhere on the screen for you guys. But when I tell you that this bit is ideal for this part in the process, just making sure that the product is nice and flush with the cuticle area. You guys, chef's kiss, I love, love, love this drill bit. But once I have this taken care of, you guys, I am gonna finish my finish filing using my 100, 180 grit hand file. Um, and what you guys see me doing here is just going over the top of the nail just to make sure that the surface is nice and smooth. And then of course, I'm also taking the file on the sides of the nail and the free edge just to do the same, make sure that it is smooth and there's no you know, jagged edges to the free edge or the sides of the nail. And then once I have this taken care of, I will go ahead and cleanse the nail of any dust or debris and then add in some nail accents. So I'll hush, I'll let you guys watch. I'll be back in when it's time for the final look. Find another reason Okay, so listen, I know I said I wasn't going to come back on until it was time to close out the video, but you guys, I have to talk to you about this technique that I learned. I learned it a while ago, but I don't know if I've ever shared it with you guys. So I learned it from a YouTuber. The channel name is Nails Slayed by Val. I'll try to link it in the description box, but you guys, she's an amazing nail artist. She does press-ons as well, um, and she swears by giving her um, nail accents a bath. So I'm just using my art lining brush and some top coat and I'm just going to bring it around all of that nail art that I put onto the nail and then I'll go ahead and I will fully cure that and that's going to help them stay in longer. You guys, here is the final look. I think these nails came out so, so cute. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what is you want to see next and you guys tell a friend to tell a friend, baby, because why not? I love you, you love me, they'll love me too. I love y'all so much. Until next time, y'all.